So these are the pine boards. Um, Tim got one he went out yesterday and um, that's what we're gonna stain and put up on the ceiling. Look what we are putting in, finally. All right, so we've got these in. It looks a lot darker because it's um, in the evening, but he's got that up and he's putting this side up. And then the beam is gonna go right there. Okay, so he's got this um, light removed. We're removing that light. All right, so we've got that last piece there. Babe, are you just measuring that? So he's gonna measure that and cut. All right, so he's measuring out um, the size for that last piece, both of them. Those little pieces, that's all we have left. So he's measuring those out and we're putting that in. So see how this kind of snapped into it and we have a little piece to cut. So he, what are you gonna do, just cut off the bottom? Yeah, the bottom piece. He's just gonna cut it off. So we can just easy put over, yeah. slide on and then just nail it. He's measuring out the measurement here and we're gonna cut that piece. I dropped my blade on this level so you can see how high, how low. So after we done, it's gonna look like this. So now, mm -hmm. and after cutting, it's gonna be like this. Cool. Last piece going in. exciting usually on the corner there there's a stud or a two by four so you can nail it he's measuring this piece right here and we're gonna start on the beams okay now I'm gonna nail this support for my beam I mark every stud on this side on the wood so i know where's my uh trusses there my stud so i'm gonna support this now you can use the gun and or screws so if you nail this really good or screw use the screws it's gonna hold this really good too so example i'm gonna use these two small pieces i'm gonna nail it together so when you stain it, you need to one side to be stained, another it's gonna cover. So I'm gonna nail it together like a L. You see L, and then I'm gonna start it from one side and keep going this way because I'm can, I can move this, make a line, and then push it so it's straight nice here you see it sticking out here so I push it a little bit inside and nail it so when you're gonna have this box uh, one side a little bit smaller than another this is a little bit longer because you nail it up to that so what I'm doing I'm doing the longer piece I'm gonna put on the bottom so when you look the face it's no line here. You can see the line right there. So I'm So you're doing the L because um, this has it's a corner. So the other ones are gonna have uh, both sides will have it, right? Yeah, this side doesn't need it because it's against yeah. the wall. Okay, let's do this. Okay, we already have our support in and then this L box we're gonna nail it now. It's against it here, very nice and tight, so I'm going to start it 
nail it here. And then, see it's a gap here. I'm gonna push it against the wall, uh, ceiling, and then nail it. All right, we've got the metal beam going in. He's got it as a U, and we're gonna put it up. Okay, I measured from my one beam to another beam. Make a mark what I needed. Same on that side. So I uh, nail it like a U the box you can come closer make a box like this for the center beam yeah. screws on each stud I mark the studs So he's screwing that in for good support. This beam is pretty heavy, just so it supports the rest of that and this. And this beam actually holding all this too. If you're using the trim nail gun, sometimes in the future, maybe it's gonna start like falling. Okay guys, never judge me because I never did that before. It's the first time in my life I'm doing it too, so. I'm trying to make it easier as possible, so... I'm gonna push this too hard, too much in. I think I'm gonna have a problem later to take it out, so I need to... Do it just right. So don't push that too hard. And you can start it on one side, 